Hello, and welcome to part 10 of my Conan Exiles guide and playthrough. Today we will take on our first dungeon, the Dregs. And not a lot of changes since last time. Um, and if you remember last time, we got a bunch of crafters. That's Sinner's Refuge and Sepamaru. So I got all those guys working. Um, I did take Syria and fought the Cave Spider again in the New River area. And I got these legendary daggers, which I'll be using today to put bleed on some of the bosses in the dungeon. Um, I also made myself an ancient mace, which is slightly better than the perfected steel mace I had. All right, let me get Syria on follow. Her helmet on, she's got her weapon, some gruel. Once we get to the boss fights, I'll give her some exotic feast. Um, so just some pre-adventure checks. My weapon's fully repaired. I have a bedroll to put down. I have cooked pork rinds and salted pork for buffs. An exotic feast to heal Syria for the boss fights. And food and water for myself. All right. So uh, the dregs is... In the New River area, at a D4, there is a Defari camp called Skulker's End, and it is just past that on the west end of that camp. It's a big building, and you go inside there, and that's the entrance to the dungeon. So I'm going to head over there, and I'll bring you back. Okay, we're down here just at the east end of Skulker's End. Um, I just came along the river from the base over to here. And I'm just going to run through the camp and up the right side of the Dreg's entrance until I lose aggro. Just telling Syria to flee the whole time. Come up here until I get to a flat area. Down a bed roll. I'm going to park a boo over here. And yeah, also uh, forgot to mention I brought arrows and a bow. Um, there's some little puzzling in the dungeon that you need a bow for. So I have some cheap arrows for that. And then I brought some snake arrows for the final boss. Poison arrows. All right. So we're going to run back down here. But yeah, Syria should be okay for the dungeon since she handled those world bosses. I think if you had a one of the tier 4 noob river thralls around level 10 with some decent gear, you should be okay for the dungeon. Um, the food buffs will definitely help if you do all that. So this is the entrance. And you're going to want... These guys will follow you in, which is good. So on top of this, there'll be some uh, ghosts that'll show you a little ritual. And what it's telling you to do is just kill someone on top of the, uh... And Syria is not attacking for some reason. And yeah, so we killed someone on top of that, and it will raise the entrance. Let me heal up a little bit. Let's go inside. And dungeons are instances. Well, I th one of them, or a couple of them aren't, but uh, this one is. Most of them. So here's the entrance. I'm going to go ahead and give 
Syria, some uh, pork rinds for strength, and uh, salted pork. And give her exotic feast for healing. There's a first boss is coming right up. And hit this tablet, you'll learn some recipes. And if you do forget to bring a bow and arrow, there's everything you need to do that in the dungeon. And these Komodo dragons give pretty good uh, XP. And they're good for uh, Icker. So come in here, you can swim down there. There's a chest, some stuff in there, or a box. But we're gonna come over here and this is the uh, first boss. And Syria's just doing a ton of damage now with her sword. 620. Ten times as much damage as I'm doing. And this guy basically fights like the uh, crocodile. Okay, we absolutely destroyed him. Got hard and still mace, which is good. That'll be better than what I'm using. And some just basic stuff. Let's see, do we get a key if we harvest this guy? I don't remember. Yeah, we did. Okay. Let me see. This hardened steel mace is. Actually, it's not as good as my current mace. Okay. Six thousand XP for those guys. There's some boxes in here, but they rarely have anything decent. But feel free to hunt those down. I mean, there's chests throughout, hidden in little corners and stuff, but you'll rarely get anything decent. You might get a little bit of treasure, but that's about it. Hit interact on the door. And there's a journal. If you want to read that, there's like four of them or so scattered throughout. This talks about a treasure hunter coming down here. And you cannot climb in this dungeon. And so, as you can see, we're kind of stuck here. And if you look up, there's a little plate to hit. So just get out your bow. You can also use, like, throwing axes and stuff. And then the water will rise. And there's skeletons throughout the dungeon. Good, good XP, 8,000. They can drop some okay loot, so you can check those guys. Yep. Red Lotus. Free Lotus Flowers, very good. 
over encumbered. I'm just gonna drop these paddings. I don't really need that. If you fall in, just look for these little rocks to let you back up since you can't climb. Come down here, look to your left. Water will go back down, so you gotta be kind of quick. There's one over here. There's water up. And wait for this to rise up again. So yeah, actually when this was the very first dungeon they added to the game, um, when the game first came out, it was just the southern desert part of the map and there were no dungeons. Actually, I think I might need to hit one over here. Yeah, there's one over here too, forgot about. So that'll raise the water in the next part. A little bit annoying waiting for the water to go up and down. Finally. Siri up here. Syria. There she is. Okay, there's a giant spider in here. I'm going to show you what the daggers do. If you use the heavy attack with the daggers, you'll put bleed on uh, whatever up to 20 stacks.
All right. Pretty easy to deal with. Oh, acid. Whoops. Forgot about that. And we got fragment of power. Those uh, we can exchange at the Library of Esoteric Knowledge for recipes. Y'all get a key from this guy. I don't. I did. And the weapon I got. Katana? Which I'm not going to use right now, but that'll be very good for the next level of thrall we're going to get. Okay, so that is the second boss. I'm actually going to come back later and do that again, so I have two katanas. got to show you uh syria has a bunch of levels since we fought those world bosses she hasn't got very good perks she gets these at 10 15 and 20 randomly rolled she got plus three health vitality for the first one that wasn't bad but she got minus five vitality and plus eight agility and she's a strength thrall so the agility doesn't really help us out unfortunately oh and i also uh got more attribute points and i max authority out and i took the well-trained stat which gives your follower plus 20 in all stats so it really gives them a huge boost Skeletons are annoying because they knock you down. There's a chest with really terrible loot. So come to the left from the where we entered the room. There's a target way across the room. So if you not used the bow before, you, if you hold down the right mouse button, it'll zoom in a little bit, do a power shot.
Come over here. This one can be a little tricky to get out. And uh, when we fight the boss, Syria is going to go out of visual sight. So uh, if you have host abs, you can add thrall to your party, and you'll get in the lower right, you'll get their health. Your follower party list. Poison arrows, and here is the uh, final boss, the Abyssal Remnant. So Syria is going to go into the acid, which would hurt you if you did that. And then he'll flop out, get your daggers out. I'm poisoning the boss and doing bleed damage and Sirius just hitting me for like 600 damage and stuff. Ridiculous. These Noob River Tier 4 Thralls don't have a lot of health, but they do have uh, a good damage modifier. So there's a book down here. This will teach you some recipes. And then there's three legendary chests. And we have a bunch of legendary keys. Great. And the acid will come back, so try to be pretty speedy. And then farm this guy with a pick, and you'll get some uh, um, abyssal flint fangs, which are used to craft uh, the recipes you just got. There's some armor and weapons. All right. Yeah, let me see. Got. And when you come into the drags, you'll get the uh, Dungeon Delver journey when you walk in, so make sure you activate that. I'm going to have to redo uh, the dungeon again, which I was going to do anyway. So, But uh, let's check out the weapons we got. All right, we got another pair of the same daggers we had. Graceful Knight's what we got from the spider. Got the Reaver's Axe. And something else, right? And another watch blade. Yeah. yeah. So a nice haul. And then go to this little grate over here. And you will exit the dungeon. All right. So I'm going to walk over to Abu, drop off some of the stuff I got, and uh, run the dungeon again. Hey, I'm bringing you back. Um, forgot to mention that I uh, just wanted to show you where you come out on the map. So here's the drags at D4, and you come up here at uh, D5, and then uh, we walk down here, and then there's a little passage to come down this hill, and that's where Abu is at. And uh, when you harvest the Abyssal Remnant, that last boss, you get uh, the Staff of the Triumvirate. And if you click more info on that, it's going to talk about uh, what's going on in this mystery and talking about going to the Tower of the Bat. So that is the main quest line, which will start soon or continue, I guess I should say. So again, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and have a good day.